the best that you can ask. So thanks everyone so much for coming to the Lightning Talks this morning. Uh, my name is Josh McIntyre. I'm a software engineer at Microsoft based out of Pittsburgh. And uh, on the side, as a side project labor of love, I run a website called Chain Tutorials, teaching people about Bit Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and blockchain topics from a technical perspective. So in Bitcoin, private keys control ownership of the funds. You have private keys that derive public keys using elliptic curve cryptography, and these are used to generate addresses that you send the money to. And it turns out, thanks to some really cool developers in the space, that you can actually generate thousands of addresses, thousands of public keys to store your money just from a seed of 12 to 24 English words. I think that's pretty magical. And it turns out it's really easy to generate one of these cryptographic seeds in Python and import it into any modern wallet software. So step one is we're going to generate some entropy or randomness. We need 128 bits for a 12 word seed and that's 32 bytes. So in Python, we can use the os.urandom function to get this randomness. And that uses the os's underlying um, random number generator, like slash dev slash urandom in Linux. The next step is we need to create a checksum. So we take the SHA-256 hash of the entropy and append the first n divided by 32 bits to the end of that randomness. So for 128 bits, we're going to add a 4-bit checksum. In Python, it's really easy to get a cryptographic hash using the hashlib functionality. So we can use hashlib.sha256. Now when we're dealing with these bits, we're using a lot of weird sizes in this algorithm. And it's kind of hard to do things at the bit level instead of the byte level. Well, a really cool, quick and dirty way to do this in Python is to use the bit string bit array class. So we can use that here to create our checksummed entropy. The last step is we're going to use our bit array and some cool Python array slicing to split our entropy and our checksum into these 11 bit chunks. And we're going to treat these 11 bit chunks of data as 11 bit integers. So the 11 bit integer space is 0 to 2047. And what we're going to do is we're going to use each number, each 11 bit number that we generate, as an array index in this standard list defined by the bit 39 standard. So we can go through each chunk and you can read in the standard word list from a text file or hard code it as a Python list into your code. And you'll end up with a mnemonic seed like this. So starting with salmon and scheme. Now please don't use this example seed and import it into your wallet. This is used to generate your private keys, which are private. And so anybody at the conference that came to this talk could totally steal your money. And we don't want that. So this has obviously been a really quick overview of kind of a technical concept with uh, cryptography, Bitcoin, and Python. If you want to see a more fully fleshed out uh, tutorial on how to do this, it's available at chaintuts.com uh, in both a text article and video format. Um, at the GitHub that I have, there's a full working version of a Python mnemonic generator you can play around with, do PRs, open issues. Um, I'd love to have people participating in that. And uh, lastly, please join me in room 15 today for open spaces at 10 a.m. I'm doing a Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, meetup, so come talk uh, your favorite crypto, come talk how to work with crypto in Python, and uh, thank you very much for listening.